I'm gonna get you in. What? What? I'm rocket. Who says we ain't in the building? Who says we ain't into building? We the Morris Master Masons, architects for your children Reppin' Friday 30th like Jason, without the killing But we promote life, oh it's all about the feeling And we invoke light, yo, we them light beings Though you might see him on the block getting his posture Might be talking to cops, giving them caution Occasionally wearing his fez when he's walking See the turning heads, whispering, gawking But he's locked in, and he's zoned out Why we boxed in, in our own house? We study the mystics, the adepts, the magi Wisdom of the ancients can all calcify us Possible mission Free mental numbness Extract the substance With minds of darkness Use the source Don't care what some purport As we don't by being told Man knows not Many before the floor Souls got bought Placed in the devil's hands Ruling the seven lands To dogma rituals Negro spirituals Brainwash subliminal Keeps thinking to a minimal They still criminal In a world digital So pitiful Mental survival So critical It's visible Can you see past writer's blocks Hashtag zombies with waves of cyber thumbs No need for cell phones, they speak through saw palms It's nothing for alarm, chips and forearms Wind, brass and bass, such a beautiful serenade Women feeding me grapes, I'm feeding the new serenades Whether the sky is clear or grey Rain when you hear a fake, giving life to seeds Speaking through who not here today Show you the future in a glimpse Again, I was looked to these holes like hallucinatory pimps Sun walked the desert, been more ever since I found God, looked back, used to see his prince Forget being a prince, I'm a G OD, grown man, no Jody, deny it, you don't know me Don't make me tap into the old me That's like a couple hundred years Walk around town with a couple hundred peers And release the peace of up fears The sun gon' shine, so what tears? This young brother here just trying to get his third eye clear Ish, deep, moors don't sleep Invest in your mind and body and unleash Real life rap, spitting over tracks Conscious thinking and living and then attack Ish, deep, moors don't sleep Invest in your mind and body and unleash yeah. Real life rap, yeah. spitting over tracks yeah. Conscious thinking uh -huh. and living and then attack So as the moon sets, the sun takes its place It spoons on blocks, inspired spots, fill spaces Peel back, rats, huh, who got cases Fire stain the corridors of flammal faces Game changers, rule benders and no pretenders Style lenders, channel my vibe through the fabric optic lenses Send a message to our veterans Soldiers up and get it in We on our verge, we on merge subliminal beings Third eye seeing, still I participate unwilling They wanna break me, shape bait grade me Rolling with my main G, double OMB S-O-N is crazy for a minute that you think you could take me For a fool like a native to his land Being schooled by a foreign dude You've mistaken me, spiders on the roof In the dark tools, I've been saying you've mistaken me You better move for our market My weapon is my tongue, your existence to target Revealing all lies and deceit on the market Genocide, carry round in pockets, I knock it Down bulldozer, David took a lie if it's an exposure Out some big cats ruling and it's getting closer To your downfall, round up all your soldiers Little homie, I was seeking a fortune Tired of misfortune, I just wanted a portion Everything that I never had, though I needed my portion Blowing like porcelain, haters, fragile as porcelain Getting broke, tired of being broke How we acquire hope is the DJ skill and some dope Just to keep us afloat, mind as deep as the boat Brain is a lethal weapon, we one need to below When I speak, I provoke Walk in the room with my aura feeling like heavy smoke Feel like when the levy broke Under my Louis Vitti to send me poke Cause dirty cops to kill your boy, you ain't a joke The cost of living, higher profits in private prison These little girls are selling bodies just to pay tuition These little niggas selling niggas just for build condition It's like this slavery never end up with the end of mission I wanna free the world, but I'm one man A couple ones like me, let me one plan I wanna free the world, but I'm one man A couple ones like me, and one plan there's a lot more. Peace and love. Let's get right to it. Um, April 3rd, which was yesterday, Brother Mari sent out an email. Greetings and light to all Moors within the nation. Just a couple of messages to pass to everyone when sending documents or forms to us. Make certain that your writing is legible 
and clear to read. If I can't make out the mailing locations or names, spelling, I will be forced to guess and we don't want that. If some of you have had delays in receiving forms or other correspondences, it is because we have a lot of return to sender mail sitting here. Sound familiar? Sound familiar? You know the complaining people? You want to complain about stuff? Where's their stuff? Where's their this and that? They sent this five days ago. How come it's not here yet? And all this type of stuff. But there's return to sender mail sitting here. Return to sender means that we sent it and it came back to us. Why? Because Brother Mari was left to guess. Is this an A? Is this an O? Is it a Q? What is this? Okay, well, we're just going to guess. And we're not sending out to three different ones, guessing three different things. Pick one, and that's the one. If it comes back, then it's just going to sit here. Some Moors have asked if there are required to pay dues to the temple. The best I could say is no. You don't have to. However, we do need the finance. It is getting difficult satisfying all the needs of the nation with the amount of mailing we have been doing and also with the week-to-week -week upkeep of the temple here. If you do want to make donations, you could do so through PayPal to S-E-A-N-L-H-A-M so S E A N letter L H A M at hotmail.com or cultural educators C U L T U R A L E D U C A T O R S Again if you are again you are not required to do so but it will definitely help us to get the word out faster. Love and light. Until again, Adol Amari Sizwi Bay. And April 4th, got an email. Amari Bay, how are you and your family doing? I hope this email finds you in good health and spirit. I am currently in Manila, Philippines on vacation, but I will return home as soon as possible due to my poor health. I have tried calling you severally, but didn't get through. Please can you call me on 634-147-12594 as soon as you get this email. I have something urgent I need to talk to you about. Hope to hear from you soon, Amari. Now. That's some real poor health. Your health is dropping. <laughs> if we can send a tell an email, tell it send an email to everybody. Hi everybody, how you doing? Everything's cool, you know what I mean? Just here, just letting you know, blah 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 blah. And then tomorrow, send an email saying that you're in the Philippines, that you have poor health. And then you start off the email with hi. Right? You start off the email with hi from Amari. But then the email that you got yesterday said greetings and light to all Moors within the nation. And then autograph said Amari. But then the one yesterday is autograph Amari Sisby Bay. So I just um called the number that you know, I have for Amari. I don't know what that number is. And um, I woke him out of his sleep because he works nights. So I woke him out of his sleep to just to ask him if he was in the Philippines. And then he said, what? <laughs> 
<laughs> and I just told him go back to sleep. I was just checking to see if he was in the Philippines. So all the people who wanted to know if Amari's in the Philippines in poor health and he needs you to send him fifteen hundred dollars or whatever, right? I just woke him up for you to let y'all know that he's not in the Philippines, right? He was sleeping. Just so you know, right? Because it really comes down to thinking, really. Really comes down to thinking. And no way. There's no way that that email came from Amari. No way. Anybody who think that email came from Amari, you need to check some stuff in your brain. Because that email is nothing close to a reflection of the previous email from the day before where he didn't tell you that he was in the Philippines and that he needed to send him 1500 So, we understand, you know what I mean? Retrograde and stuff like that. People tripping right now. It's not even... Because remember, you know... It's people now that are tripping, not the technological stuff. People are tripping right now. Just like when it's retrograde and then computer doesn't work and phone doesn't work and TV doesn't work and I was, I'm pushing power, nothing's happening, whatever. For Mercury, all right. People now are the instruments that are tripping right now. And those are the ones that they want to use as the self-destructors of their own birthright. Those people that are going to use invasion of the weak mind snatchers. Better have your fortress built around your mind right now. All this meditating you're doing and yoga and all this stuff. You better have an impenetrable fortress protecting your mind right now. It's divine and national movement. People have pushed this national stuff for so long that the national is being enveloped in divine right now. Enveloped, licked, sealed. It's divine or nothing. As far as people who think that, you know what I mean? <laughs> Papers and cards that make you a more. Better have that. The Muftis, right? You better have the, the 144,000 Muftis around your pineal gland right now. Because that time, divine is taking a turn in people's ass right now. <laughs> They got them panicking. Don't even know what to do with their self. They don't even know what to do with their self. Making videos, talking nuts, talking out of their goddamn mind. Right? Making videos, talking out of their mind. Talking out of their mind. You know what all the... The zombie movies. And all the zombie movies, right? The theme of the zombie movie is don't get bit by the zombie. Don't let the zombie hold you. 
That's how these people are going after people's minds right now, if their minds are weak. Only if their minds are weak. Strong minds, they ain't got nothing to worry about, it's got nothing to do with you. It's dealing with the weak-minded people. The weak-minded people who are going to call me to verify about some Amari in the Philippines. Weak-minded people who are going to have a factual place to go to to get information, rvbaypublications.com. A factual place to go to. But instead of going there themselves to learn, study, you know, self-improve, they want to go with somebody else for them to do it for them. And they're willing to pay a fee or whatever for that. And for all the um, strong-minded Mars, be very wary of guilty by association when you're with these weak-minded people you're thinking <laughs> there are brothers, unity amongst the Mars and all that BS that people are talking about. Because 80% of Mars don't study. The other 20% are split into the ones who know this information and they're sticking to what it is and ones who know this information but they're like, <laughs> they're not telling everybody that. Because if we start talking like that, then we lose our 501c3. We don't get no more support from the state to tell Mars to go get licenses and go tell Mars to go get all these corporate democracy inquisition documents and put their bay on it and prove that they're morals getting getting upset at europeans telling negroes that they're morals saying that their prophet didn't give them permission <laughs> to talk about his teachings <laughs> right weak minded crazy people right now with turbans and feathers on. Jackets. With the button on it. Right? Saying they're Moorish American. But hoarding the Prophet Noble Juali in his literature. Hoarding it from the world. Letting people suffer. And they're keeping what Noble Juali brought for the Moorish Americans who are members of Moorish Science Temple of America. And, and, and again, we, we have nothing to prove, huh? Because we've been exercising this. This is not something we just came up yesterday, start talking against RV Bay and talking against people and all that stuff. Just yesterday they started doing that. They weren't doing this 10 years ago. 30 years ago, they were sitting in classes with Taj Tariq Bay. Now they're talking crazy. Like they don't know. So don't think we have something to prove. Like truth doesn't need no defense. We're not defending truth. We're trying to show people they're, in, they're invading the people who have the knowledge that know what nationality and birthrights is about are shutting the hell up that they know about what it's about telling you some BS so they can steal your mind and once they have your mind just like the European you know you got the same platform right once they get your mind then they get all your coin because it's really it's about man is, man is mind so why am I worried about the body, the man's mind? But, you know, they need the bodies in order to get the mind. Because in this day and age, you know, we got Google and all that stuff. You know, these people can't say that they got the info on Nobu Juali. When you got professors out there writing about Nobu Juali and stuff like that, how come they're not going at them for teaching about Nobu Juali? They got people writing their thesis for university on Noble Juali and Moorish movement. How come these Moors aren't going at them? Those Europeans. 
they're doing the same thing that you know the Europeans that they're complaining about are doing. They're teaching what Noble Juali taught. They're not black, you're not Negro, you're not colored. You actually have your own nation, culture, and all that stuff. Okay, and then they go into the history of the Moors. This is in their thesis for them to get their doctorate, their whatever degree they're getting. Right? So we have nothing to defend. We're just putting out so that people could learn. That's up to them if they want to learn. If they don't want to learn, then, you know, that'll be, that's proof that they're a weak mind and they're going to be in the 80% getting raped by anybody who likes to rape. And it's that simple. By what, you know, the Europeans' legacy was toward my people and what happened to us in the country, you know, at all points of time, including right now. There's a lot of anger. There's a lot of frustration, you know, and that's natural. I, I, I would say that that's natural um, because it shows that, you, you know, things are fire, your, your, fire, your, 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 your faculties are firing properly, right? Prophet Noble Juwali helps to ease that pain because he clarifies in a lot of the different texts that, you know, it, you know it, for one, you're not inferior. Actually, you're a great secret, you know what I mean? This, this is the reason why they want to steal what your legacy is, and it ain't about... Uh, you know, all these other courses of, uh, of, of, of emotion and passion that's going to bring you back to your feet is going to be uh, thinking clearly and calmly and working together in unison. And the problem is, is question 91 says, uh, is, is the devil made in the image and the likeness of Allah? And it says, no, he is a shadow of your lower self and will pass away. And for those that are able to understand and uh, to extrapolate on what that thought means, is that if we're not in, no longer in our lower self, we're focusing on the wrong thing by focusing on the person who appears to be holding us down. But my point is different. My point is, you know, Euro Europeans, I, I don't think fully understand because there's a spectrum of them. There's some of them that are on both extremes. There's some of them that want to help us, and they don't understand sometimes how we can be easily offended in that anger that we actually have and that frustration, uh, which is natural to all Asiatics. Um, and, and, and so my thought is to the brother... You know, I don't know if he's ever, if he's considered thoroughly whether or not his thought and his actions are offensive based on those things. Where somebody says, oh, you got a lot of nerve. You know, how dare you come? This is ours. Y'all have y'all own. Y'all got, you have all these other things. Why do you have to come into the more science temple of America? America. Is, is the thought offensive? And I would say yes and no. For the record, I would say yes. It's a very selfish thought for him to think that you could come up and you're coming online and you're teaching the Asiatics in the Asiatic movement that it clearly says, you know, that this is for us uh, specifically. It's bold of him. It's very bold, you know, and it's very insensitive, you know, but at the same time, I would say no. To be fully balanced, I would say no. I, I, you know, on one level, if the brother's thoughts are pure and sincere, all right, I, I, you know, it's not so abrasive. I'm looking at him and it's not like, you know, it's not like he's condescending necessarily. That last piece you played was a little bit condescending, but I Right. So, they have another mouth over here where they say some stuff or whatever like that and then sometimes this mouth over here that you can't see says stuff. Clearly identified, well, you know, if the brother's sincere, he's a European, and he's sincere, then ain't no problem with him talking about noble Jewali and all that stuff. So why you got our 55 minutes Talking about RV Bay Productions, Kudro, Rami Salam L, we got some explaining to do because we're like European. That Muslim son is one of the most sincere Europeans I ever met. And I haven't even met him in the flesh. That European, I'm gonna go sit down with and break bread before Morisco World TV and all those moors on that. You know he's European. How does he know? Because Masons, Freemasons, that are in the lodge, threaten him. Threaten him because he's writing writs and stuff like that. He's going to the lodge and telling the people in the lodge 
that they need to give the Moors back their stuff. And he's getting door knock threats from Europeans. People look just like him. Because he's talking about the Moors. He's not going to tell you. I'm telling you. Because, you know, I know him. And we talk. Right? This is a European who, when he wanted to write writs, when he wanted to write writs to be, to be in tune with the writ, remember this is a European, to be in tune with the writ, to make the writ really his writ. He would cut the legal paper. He's not going to the store to buy the package legal paper. He has a big sheet and then he cuts out the legal paper for him to use for his writs. European. Now, that's a serious European right there. Just on that alone, forget about the studying that he does and, you know what I mean, the, 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 the things in the background that he's done to be where he is to talk how he talks as a European, put on a pheasant, make videos talking about Mars, a European doing this. And the, and the problem is that, you know, it's really prophecy. Abu Jali told him he's going to make the European tell the truth. Brother Latif's telling the truth that all these guys are scared to tell. That's why they're mad. That's why I make an hour 55 minute video talking about some European that mentioned Kujo and Taj as reference points and RV Bay publications as a reference point. And they're mad. Why are they mad? Because they know that Negro, Blacks, and Coloreds are going to listen to the European before they listen to these jokers who's been Moors for the past 90 years and haven't done anything with regard to bringing this to the people. We have the proof. I was there personally when we went to the reincarnated temple, which is, you know, people push that as that's a legitimate branch of Morris Science Temple. And they have no sign on the building. No sign saying Morris Science Temple or whatever. Knocking, nobody coming. We have, to, we have to look through the mail slot to get them to open the door. That's, this is Morris Science Temple. And it was in a quote-unquote black community or whatever like that. So these club people, right? These club people who are making this movement stagnate because they don't want to give up what it is that they got are the people stealing your mind. Remember, these are big names. Rami Salam El has one of the highest viewed Moorish videos on YouTube. That's a big name as far as the Moors YouTube world. Rami Salam El, he gets views. He gets views. Right? So they just gave people a reference point stupid asses thinking that they're talking against somebody and then they got the European in there backing up everything that Kujo says Taj says RV Bay Publications says and just because it's a European Negroes are actually going to go check why are they going to check? because their God's telling them that they're Moors it's not their brothers that they see on the street now. It's their God that's telling them. 
you know you're not Negro, Black, Colored, you're Moors, you should go to R.B. Bay Publications and you know just go do some research or whatever. Right? Sending people in to get their birthright, not to be a member of more Science Temple so they can be in, in the part of the club, the club that hasn't done anything for 90 years. Trust me, I'm more Science Temple. I know. I know how stagnant they have been, which is why we're as active as we are opening opening our doors to the world. Opening our doors to the world. Anybody could be part of this and assist in this. Because it's not a club. It's an organization it has to do with uplifting fallen humanity. You're game for uplifting fallen humanity? All right, well, you know, let's see how real you are about uplifting fallen humanity. Well, you know what I mean? Goes out, sends his fiat or whatever, supports RV Bay publications, guarantee probably has every book off that website. Guarantee. I'm pretty sure. If not every book, close to every book off that website. Every book. Um, putting the word out. You know, that. You know, they're, 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 this is actually real. Like you're actually not, you're actually not black. Like you know that you're more. You're European. Just going around, just talking to people who don't look like him. Right? Because he's not a weak mind. He might be European. <laughs> yeah, you might look at the, you know complexion and all that stuff like that and be fooled but trust that he knows law trust that he recognizes what noble Juali brought for the asiatics and if it's good enough for the asiatics then who the hell is he to not get down with some more science i mean moorish orthodox church got down with more science they're not going at them you know, they're not going at more Orthodox Church, we're not going at them. We're not going at Peter Moon, Rick Smith. You worry about the, the Thief Bay, like he, that's just a European that's just out here, just, he, he ain't nobody. Why you go after Peter Moon? I mean, what, Peter Moon got, right? Why you go after Peter Moon for using Noble Jewali's picture? Huh? How come? He's a European. Like he's a European. He used nobody. He used your prophet's picture on the cover of his book. What are you gonna do about it, Morisco World TV? All you guys on that channel. What are you gonna do about it? Here's a European. Here's a European right here, right? Peter Moon, using your prophet of the Morris Science Temple of America's picture on the cover of his book. What are you going to do about it? Peter Moon, look him up. Let's go look him up. He has an email and all that stuff. You can find him. He's not a hiding European. Go talk to Peter Moon. How come you're not, how come you're not going at Peter Moon? Right, Morisco World TV? Why? Why aren't you going at Peter Moon? He's a European and he has your prophet's picture on his book. Did he get your permission to do that? Did he get more Science Temple of America's permission to use Noble Juali's picture on his book cover that he's selling all around the world? The European. Just the fact that he put this book out, he's done more work than you clowns. Just the fact that he has the picture. And he didn't do like the black guys out here and just show, you know what I mean, like half half of Noble Juali on a flyer and try and say that they're repping something or whatever. He put the full picture on there. Right? He put the full picture on it. European. But they're never going to go at Peter Moon. Because he'll slap them silly with facts. He'll slap them stupid with facts. 
if they want to play play with Peter Moon, but he can't talk about Moors and Noble Juali or whatever. Slap them. He might even come to the meeting with his Morris sash and freaking all the stuff. <laughs> Just to show you punks how stupid you are about you trying to stop people from teaching about nationality and birthrights. So Islam to all the all the Muslim sons and daughters out there who recognize that there's no such thing as Negro, black, colored people or white people. They recognize that they got nationality. They go back to some place in Europe. They know that they're foreigners in indigenous land here. And they're teaching the indigenous people that you're not Negro, black, colored. You're actually Moors. You're actually the inheritors of this vast estate called the Americas. And you don't have to go back to Africa and you never came here on slave ships and stuff like that. All the Europeans who rep it like that, Islam to you Europeans, modern Europeans. Islam to all the Europeans who are doing what they see needs to be done to get the word out to the so-called Negro black colored people that they're not that, that they're Moors. And using the literature by Noble Juali using the literature that Noble Juali brought, using Noble Juali's picture and anything else relative to Noble Juali to put this word out. We commend you and we thank you for your good works. We thank you for your good works. All the ones that have done something with regard to putting this information out. Uh, as far as the, the global or the vast subject of moral science, anything relative to that, that they put out, thank you. Because you've done more than so-called people with feathers and turbans on that call themselves Moors that should be doing exactly what y'all doing. But they don't want to do that. They want to play club. So we need your help, Europeans. We need your help. Take a page out of Brother Latif's book. Matter of fact, any Europeans who come to me on some, I want to know about Moors, I send them to him. Because that's your boy. Deal with him. Just deal with him. Trust me, he's going to give you what it is that you need so you can assist as well. I mean, he doesn't know he's masquerading as a Moor. He doesn't know. He's not stupid. He studies. He knows about the experiments and the Negro stuff and all that stuff. He knows about that. He knows about the dark side of his existence. It's just like all the other Europeans do that support this. Because it's truth and facts. What are you going to do? Ar argue with facts? But they don't want to accept that. They want to think that Europeans are coming into the Moorish movement. They're trying to take your birthright. Because if they steal your birthright, then they're going to use your birthright. And then you can't use it because you guys haven't told people about birthrights for 90 years. Why is it, why is it all of a sudden it's important to, to hear you talk? You haven't been talking, so keep not talking. What you got? 100 videos on your channel? That ain't nothing. You ain't been saying nothing. 100 videos? You just started talking. There ain't nobody to listen to. That's why you have more thumbs down than, than, than goddamn thumbs up. But nah, you're not going to take that as a sign. You're going to keep, keep going. And then, you know, keep putting the name on there. You know what I'm saying? Because you already know that we're in the cool corner. And, you, and that's how you're going to have to get your props, by putting our name in your stuff. You know that. You know, you like, thanks for the promo, Morisco World. Thank you for the promo, because trust me, people are hearing what you're saying. And they're coming to check. And when they come to check, they realize that you're, you guys are full of BS. You guys don't teach about nationality and birthrights, what noble Juali taught. They're frauds. They're invaders. The weak mind snatchers. Watch out for them. 
because they're proving to you that they're out here. They got videos on YouTube and stuff like that. They're proving to you they're out here. Proving it. So with that, the questions, just wanted to get up those two stuff out of the way. So we'll deal with questions today. First one, Brother Guamanaco L. Peace Mars, could you please make a short review of these two segments? Yeah. One based on U.S. Supreme Court decisi and Black's Law Dictionary that salary, i.e. compensation, is not an income or revenue. Two, showing guidance on how to properly fill the income tax when we truly received or making salary. Three, if the corporation is already deducting fiat on the paycheck, the process of filing an income tax looks like a forced voluntary act. What are the consequences of not filing income tax when one is making salary throughout, throughout working for the corporation? So, what we have is a process that's already been in motion for years right this is some income tax is something that they've been doing from a corrupt perspective for years so don't think in your mind that you are going to force their hand with your six months, one year, five years of studying or whatever. This is not how it works. This is not about getting out of not paying income tax and getting out of having licenses and getting out of whatever it is that we find ourselves in that, you know, is clearly fraud and all that stuff. It's not about that, right? This information is for self to improve. This information is not to get a reaction from whoever you're dealing with. This information is for self to improve. Before anything. Right? So you, you can't be in the position of improving self and then trying to exercise the improvement. It's like it's like with, with El Haj. That he was so accustomed to being an orator, he was so accustomed to 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 verbally expressing that when his consciousness changed, he should have shut the hell up and went and studied. He should have took a year off and ground himself, but he wasn't grounded, which is why he was able to get got. Because if he, wasn't, if he was studying, he wouldn't have been out there. Instead of getting the information and trying to put it in, in operation immediately. First thing, the fact that for years, Europeans have been controlling the sector known as employment, right? Going to them in order to quote unquote work, whatever like that, is contrary to where our mindset is. So it's really about, if we have this mindset, we should be doing stuff for ourselves. But then, you know, we already know how it goes. You know, you're gonna have to, because, because of, we're, we're at something in its inception. This thing's been going on. Before we even came here, this thing's been going on. And we're now hip to the game, but they've been doing their stuff for, 
This is why on top of studying, 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 right? The um, fly swatter, the bug spray, is learning to live within contracts and reserving your rights anytime you deal with these people. Because you know that everything that they're doing, income tax, go in the paycheck, take out whatever, you know that it's they're, they're doing corruption. But they've been doing corruption. And really and truly, once again, right, we've had our own manufacturing companies that we could have been working at. That a hundred years later, we wouldn't have been go we would have been going to office job as Mars. They would have all these factories and stuff like that, just like all people have today, just like Walmart or whatever like that. There would have been that Moorish version of that. Because people didn't do their job and all that stuff. Here we are, having to deal with this BS. But we have to deal with it. You have no options. And this isn't, again, about... Well, now I have this information, put this out, and then that's going to stop them from... Once you have that mentality, like they're going to get, get you every time. Because this information is not about get out of something. This information is about pro improving self first. If you're using this information to do other than improve self first, everything you do is going to fail. Because nothing is going on out here unless it's right in here. Nothing. The employment sector is in cahoots with the quote-unquote corporate government. Only corporation can deal with corporations. So the fact that they're saying, well, here's a form of the income tax, and they're saying, well, that's federal government. But if that's federal government, if taxes is a federal thing, that they're going to go into your check, take it out or whatever, right? But you work for a corporation, then, then federal government has to be a corporation, which is, again, why the best option is don't even, if you don't have that job or whatever like that, then you don't got to worry about not getting taxed because... You don't have to worry about not getting taxed because you're not going to be in the stuff. So we have to learn and understand that under occupation, everybody has to take one for the team once in a while. Just because this is what we created as morals. Not studying, thinking that some guy that says he's reincarnated is going to save us and then 100 years later, we're still just in this one temple. But we had manufacturing companies, community centers and all that. And we have, there's nothing Moorish right now. And everybody's trying to well, this, use this info to try to get out of something. Trust me, like I know what you're saying. I, I'm on the plantation. They take, they take stuff out my check. But my mentality is, well, if they're really about energy and not the fiat, then what they take out the check ain't nothing because they're not even paying me. They're not paying me. If there's no money, then they're not paying me. What am I doing here then? Well, you know, if I was doing some construction, then, you know, it's just my workout every day, you know, beat rocks. Where I'm at, you know, my thing is you know engage people make them have a good day because you know I'm here for eight hours so you know what I mean and you know sometimes you might get some offerings of food or something you know whatever but you know you're just gonna accommodate because you're under occupation you're born under occupation and it's not stopping just because you sent a writ trust me I sent writs that people didn't reply to and the stuff continues still but that doesn't mean I was like, oh, writs don't work, so I'm not going to write writs anymore because those guys sent us that. We're under occupation. Like, what, what do you want from them? What do you want them to bow down and, and 
Oh, you oh you want to check in? Oh, we'll just stop taking the st stuff out and all that. No, you're not. We're not supposed to be part of the system. We have our own system. We're coerced to be part of the system that we're part of. Which you know again is why if you know that you got stuff to take care of in order to be quote unquote a man, woman, or whatever like that. If you got stuff to take care of, right? Then you'll do what you have to do to take care of those stuff. Regardless of whatever, because, you know, wherever you're at, you got yourself there. So deal with it. It's just, that's just what it is. Nobody did anything. You know, European, you know, devil did something. It's all about self. Self wasn't improving, so self was about destruction and destroying itself in turn. Right? If we... Say, now, for example, right? Out here in this jurisdiction, right? I've had quote unquote stores. You know what I mean? Me and brothers getting together, you know, let's have a store since, we, you know, that was black store, right? Stuff didn't work out due to, you know, people not being there. So, whatever. You know what I mean? Okay, gotta go do the work. Go on a plantation, come into this information. It's interesting information, you know. You just research some more, you know, and then start realizing things at the work. All these people wearing mason rings and stuff like that. Like, I never noticed all that before, you know. Never even, these are people who I knew. You know, I mean, CEO of the company and stuff like that. Who I knew. You get this information, they got mason rings and stuff. I never really. Checked what was good? Well, you know, whatever. You know, it's just it's just what it is, right? Um, had the situation with the sister, went on the news, went to the plantation on the Monday. Like, you know, just dead silence, like nobody's working. You know, it's going on or whatever. Okay, they get the call in the room. Here's the check. Well, thanks for your stuff or whatever like that. We're downsizing. We don't need you anymore. Thanks. Here's, here's you know, your payout. Because there was no real issue. You know what I mean? Like, I did what I was supposed to do. You know what I mean? It was collections, top collector and all that stuff, awards, all that. So, guess, so it's not, no reason. Other than, hmm, you know, you on news and stuff like that, saying that he's more and he had feathers on and, you know what I mean? Going against, quote, unquote, children's services who you know we got cahoots with or whatever like that so you know it was a higher thing why that went down and at that point i realized learn to live within contracts that's what that means that's what that means learn to live within contracts and then from that point on anytime any of these individuals out here that are occupiers that I deal with, right? Reservation of rights. And give me whatever it is that you're trying to sell or whatever. Because, you know, I'm not going to not take advantage of the fact that you have something to offer and I want it. I mean, you know, you know if you're occupying and you say you got the bank and I need an account, I guess I gotta come to you. All rights reserved. Well, you can't do it. Well, you know, call your manager then. Well, you can't do it. Well, call the next guy up then. Well, we'll just let you do it, you know, because whatever like that. <laughs> okay, thank you very much or whatever. And, you know, reserve rights. So on the plantation, I know that they're gonna take out whatever. But, when I got this slave that I'm on right now, I reserved rights on it. On the income tax papers, so that when they say at the quote unquote job that they're going to take out whatever because, you know, income and whatever and you know, stuff like that, right? Okay, whatever. They're going to take out, you know, 
6,000, whatever, because that's the minimum that they can take out, right? What you're supposed to be doing is you're supposed to be putting the full salary there, not the tax that you want them to take out. So once you put the full salary there, then they're going to take out the chunk, and then that's why when you do your taxes, you get back. Because they took, they overtook, like they borrowed off you, right? They borrowed off you for the whole year or whatever, just scooping out your account, scooping out your account, scooping out your account, and then they got 100 out of there. They only used 50, and then they gave you back 50. And hey, I got return. No, they, it's not, yeah, yeah, that's why it's a return, because <laughs> they're giving you back your stuff. That's why it's a tax return. It's your stuff, but they're giving it back to you. Right? So, when time comes around now to file, when they put the salary, it's going to show that they didn't take enough. So they're going to come and say that I owe, which is what it is that I want. Them sending me something, documentation, about money and whatever, whatever like that. And then now this is where you bring in the U.S. court decisees and whatever in your writs and you respond to them because now you're not dealing with your job. You're dealing with the, the private corporation that at this point has nothing to do with the job. It has nothing to do with that paper that you sent in. Now you're dealing with them privately about this quote-unquote money. They say that they owe you for that's your stuff. That's your salary. Why do why you owe them when that's your salary? Oh, because we're corporate people and majority of people didn't reserve their rights. So they can't even make this argument when the tax people come and say taxes. And like I'm saying, for the past 10 years or whatever, every time they come and they say, oh, then I send a writ, I don't hear from them after that until next tax time. And then next tax year's amount is never added with the stuff from last year. It's always the same amount every year right and then that's how they're you know kept at bay because again my mentality is hey they're not paying me anyways so they're not taking anything what they really want is my energy what they really want is me stressing out or whatever like that blah blah but nah i'm gonna go i'm gonna use the gym on lunch because you know it's free they're not getting my energy i'm gonna use up all their stuff you know what i mean talk to whatever teachers in there whatever connections that they got use their little connections and stuff like that because hey i'm here why not take advantage right so you can go to them put your status on the record to them and they are obligated to correct the papers and all that stuff remember they're occupiers so when they do that, that means that they can no longer tax you because you're not a corporation, right? Now, if they can only hire corporations because they're a corporation, they can't hire natural people. How long do you think that's going to last? Now, is it more in your favor to get nothing and be out here, you know what I mean? Whatever, whatever you got to do to quote-unquote, survive, or, you know, are you going to wean yourself off the crack? Probably better wean yourself off. Because, you know, we've been under this spell for a very long time, and a snap is not breaking this spell. Right? A snap is not breaking the spell. Okay. because these people have been doing what they're doing. You know, they've been murdering our people. That's why, you know, you just realize now that people are missing. They've been doing that. Ain't nothing new. You've been too blind to see it. Now they're putting it in your face. Now you're mad. Now, they're, now, now you find out information that, damn, you guys have been robbing me for the past how much every year is taking these taxes off. Well, you know, Ignorance of the law is no excuse. I mean, you know, nothing personal, but, you know, sorry. 
So it's not a situation of use this information because, you know, they're doing something to me, so I'm going to use this information and get out of. It's never going to work doing that. Wean yourself off of whatever it is that you're dealing with. But digest this information. Let it soak in. Let it marinate. Let this info marinate in you before you go out there doing stuff. Because remember, it's, it's, it's contract. So you send them something, you know, they might not reply. But they might. Now you better be able to deal with the, the second stuff that they're sending you. Because if they realize that when you send the stuff that you know that much, then <laughs> they're going up to the next level and they're not even dealing with it no more. They're going to pass it to the next department and let the legal department deal with it. Now then you better be able to deal with them when they come at you. And again, you know, when they come at you and then you're fumbling around, don't know what to do, that's because your ass should have weaned off. Now you're deeper. And then keep in mind as well, right, with regard to the taxes. Um, with regard to the taxes that only Congress shall lay and collect taxes. Who's CRA? Who are they? What Canada Revenue Agency? What, like, what are they? They're not Congress. And all these things are things that you're going to challenge them in the writ when they say taxes. And with regard to what happens if you don't pay, if you don't pay, then, you know, they're going to do the taxes for you because it's their corporation. And then when they do it for you, then they're going to say that you owe. Right? They're going to ex parte the tax papers. Trust me, we got the info from somebody who's on the inside. That if you say, <laughs> I'm not going to file, they're going to file for you. Why? Because ex parte. Because that is their corporation. And then they're going to file the taxes for you. And because they filed it for you, you're going to owe. Right? And then if they're doing it, now they're involved with the employer, which is how now they can go and do the garnishy and all that stuff. One, because we didn't reserve rights, so we couldn't make the argument. And two, because we weren't competent and they just beat us, you know what I mean? Because they knew how to play better. And we took study, study, study for granted. That we don't, you don't have to. Right? So, if you, if you need that little check, you got, you know what I mean? Responsibilities. Then, I wouldn't go flapping some papers around at them and stuff like that to see what will happen. Because, you know... You have to keep her happy with her two apples. And she doesn't want no deadbeat. So, you know what I mean? Wean yourself off. This is about info. Because trust me, once you study, once you take study, study, study serious, guaranteed guaranteed this is a guarantee that once you take study 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 serious right so let's say let's say it's okay well, let's use the, the the taxes thing so if we say the jurisdiction of law if you take study 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 serious right something within because you're focusing within is going to go off that's going to make you realize, oh my gosh, that's what it is to get out of this. It's just going to come to you. Why? Because you let it marinate. 
We let it marinate. Even when the guy hit, even when the guy does the heroin, it takes at least a, you know what I mean, ten seconds before he gets the zook, and starts tripping. Does the marinate? Everything has to marinate before you get the, the punch. You know what I mean? The flavor is not going to be in it if you don't let it marinate. That's why they have simmer on the goddamn thing. So it can marinate. It's information. New information. That, that we were supposed to be on already. We're not supposed to be just finding this out right now. We're supposed to already be past where we are in our mind. Right now. Drawley brought this 100 years ago. This is all we know about more science? What we know right now? Anybody out there who says, I know more science, that's all you know? Because, you know what I mean? The active more have the saying of, you know, the more I find out, the stupider I feel. It forced me to go study some more. Right? So we know that we're dealing with, with you know what I mean, a lot of BS that we shouldn't have to be dealing with. But we made this bed of nails. So sleep, like, or stay up, like it's up to you, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm going to take my chances on the bed of nails and try to get a little shut eye. Right? I'm not killing myself because of this bed that, that you know what I mean, people laid before me and then now I'm in the grand sheet seat and people's asking me stuff like I'm like who the hell told you that well my grand sheet said what like what do you mean what do you mean a grand sheet told you that right stuff went down that's critical to where we are right now <laughs> like we're not where we are right now just because of European only the Europeans violating us only. That's not only why. You know what I mean? There's people working tooth and nail with this European to keep us asleep. They want the people to be asleep. They want them to have weak minds. Because once you have weak minds, then you have the body. Once you have the body, then you have the labor. Right? But anyways, Brother Yashua L. Oh yeah, and don't forget, just go to RV Bay and get all the taxes books on there too, if you don't have those. Because then again, that comes back to the thing, if, you know, if we're talking about let's go to these people and stop them from ABC, but you never read the, ma the ABC manual or whatever, then... then we're just here. That's why study is important. You know what I mean? It does it, like you don't have to get out of everything when you find out that these guys are doing corruption. Like right there. <laughs> you could you could you could you know what I mean? Like you know, you've been dealing with it for the past thirty years or whatever. You've been dealing with it. It's not that serious that you're gonna call Turkey right now. Take a chill pill and sift through the stuff. You know what I mean? First time at the pool, want to go up to the 50 foot stuff and to dive off stuff. What are you doing, yo? <laughs> Take your time. Take your time. There's not no rush. System bin fell. It's the, it's not a rush. Right? Islam fam came up on some serious jewels. I don't know why these people keep testing me, but it is appreciated because the jewels come from a plenty when they try to turn the heat up. Bring the fam some quote citations. This is not available online. The two book volume on Indian affairs alone is like 2,000. 2,000. When I look for the same copies. And 
It's um, Colonial Records of South Carolina, Series 2, Journals of the Commissioners of the Indian Trade, September 1710 to August 1719, edited by W.L. McDowell, South Carolina Archives Department, 1955, right, Colonial Records of South Carolina Series 2, and then the Colonial Records of South Carolina Series 1, edited by J.H. Easterberry. So that was just some books I'm more bumped into. Next one, um, Malik Ali. I was on the RV Bay Publications website in the Canaan Moore section, and I came across a well-written proclamation and declaration. I attempted to copy it from the site so that I could fill it out and send it to the Moore Science Temple for authentication, but could not get in the correct format along with the great pyramid seal etc would you be able to email the template of the document so that I can read it print it complete it to the temple for authentication um, I have to check see what document that is but yeah I'll have to check see what that is but it shouldn't it shouldn't be an issue Sharice L. Greetings, Mars. I'm thankful for being able to send out this message to the people. There are agents on patrol just waiting to throw us in the back of some shady paddy wagon for whatever dumb reason they can come up with. They are not with the NYPD. How do I know? Because they tried to get me Thursday night around 9.15 p.m. and told me themselves. It was two Asiatics dressed in navy blue uniform with no form of official tags on their person, nor were they willing to give proper identification. They were parked one block away from Evander Child's School at Barnes and Gunhill Road, Bronx, New York. They claimed to work for some sort of special tax force. If I didn't know Allah and stand on Allah and express what I know in an intelligent tone, who knows where I would be this morning? One of the, one of the many who ends up missing possibly. One of them told me, quote, you're acting like a lady, so we will treat you like a lady. I got to walk away unmolested, praise Allah. The craziness out here is very real and there are devils out who are lurking in the cut and wanting to find whatever minor infraction to get you in the back of that shady paddy wagon. Always stay alert and keep a recorder on you, ready at all time, invest in one if those secret camera buttons and place it on your coat before you walk outside. It's drastic measures that must be taken because these are drastic times. Be safe and to the best of your ability, Mars, I send this out with love for my people and ask that you inform everyone to carry a recorder. Hashtag this message if you have to. Just pass the message forward in love and honor. Sharice L. Alright, so they played their card try to kidnap somebody end up being a more and then they have to yield right they tried they tried something on somebody that they thought was Negro black color came to find out that there are more that they're more that they know about certain things they challenged them on certain things and then they just 
took off because what else are they going to do, right? Dressed in uniforms and stuff like that, right? And then certain people are going to tell you that anybody who stops you and, you know, you need to talk to them and not ask them who they are and ask them to identify themselves, show something to prove who they are. They're going to say, you know, doing that is going to get you like Corin Gaines and stuff like that, right? They just want you to get kidnapped. Who do you think they work for? Who do you think they work for? If they're not telling the people, they're going to tell the people, Corin Gaines talk like a more, so that's why she got murdered. But they're not talking about the highwaymen that murdered her. Who do you think they work for? Invasion of the weak mind snatchers. Keep playing. Keep playing. One day you'll just find yourself watching their stuff. One day you'll just find yourself accepting that reincarnated Mora Science Temple is legitimate. And Kirkman Bay was the real supreme grand advisor of the Moorish movement and all that stuff. One day you're just going to wake up and you're not going to be where you were. And at that point it's going to be too late. You, know, you, you might as well pull the trigger on yourself. Because you didn't build up the fortress. You didn't have the cherubims around your pineal gland protecting you. You didn't have your crystals. You weren't using your oils. You weren't burning your incense. You weren't burning your sage. You, just thought you weren't studying, you know, astrology. You just, you know, I'm a more because I have this card. And then end up, you know what I mean? 20 years from now, and have done nothing for the Moorish movement, but be somebody's somebody's little follower. Peace and love, more. My appellation, Gold L Bay. I'm seeking information about the example of publication of a perfect exhibit newspaper published judicial combination. Judicial proclamation and name correction and what I need to do is law more well considering that newspapers charged by the letter Considering newspapers charged by the letter right It might be costly to post your proclamation in a newspaper well they charge by a letter out here where you're at it might be you know what I mean so you know if you want to publish something in the newspaper you don't ask Canaan Land Morris you call the newspaper people because they're the ones that you're going to be posting the stuff and they'll let you know the price and if it's suitable for you then you do that if you want you know what I mean From our perspective, you know, we say we'll send it to people directly. Certified, registered mail. Just so that we have, you know, um, something that we did to, you know, we're not relying on their, them in their newspaper or whatever, you know. Do both of them, you know, you, you might have the fiat that you can just blow on an article or blow on um, putting your stuff in the paper. Hey, you know what I mean? Go right ahead. You know what I mean? It's public record. It's a newspaper. It's going to go as much copies as that is, wherever it's going to go, that's where it's going to go and that's who's going to know. You know what I mean? Right? And once you put the modus, 30 days, nobody rebut the claim then claim stands as law and that's notice same thing like doing it in the mail that's notice same thing as more science temple of america having a new paper newspaper and posting all the names of all the individuals or posting the proclamation in their own paper you know which would be a lot better if you're going to put it in a paper you know put it in a moorish paper right
um, you know, the, 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 there's no there's no perfect exhibit like that. You know what I mean? Like it, you know the, the the perfection of the exhibit is based on the person who's sending it, not on who's presenting it. You know, like not you know, like if you if you um, put it in a Moorish paper, that's perfect exhibit. Because it's public record. If if you put it in one of these whatever daily planet whatever newspaper right if you put it in there that's public record so it could be there, there's many ways that it can go right um, and again it comes down to studying again really what is a judicial proclamation and name correction like, what is it is just some papers that says something, or is or is, is there something deeper going on? You know what I mean, keep in mind that because it's your birthright, because it's your birthright, you have to know about it. So, one of the um, lessons, for example like Brother Amari, is when people send back their, um, people who are out here, when they send back their um, membership form to the temple, right? And there's something, you know, that might be funny on there that shows that somebody might lack some study. You know, you call people. Hey, you filled out this thing right here, you know, and address certain things, right? Because it's a tool, the membership form itself is a tool for people to learn. There's stuff on there that you should be looking up. So it's on there. Like that's that's a, a learning tool that there should be looking up happening, filling out the form. Just like there should be looking up happening with judicial proclamation, name correction. Like that's not just supposed to be print out, fill out, send it out, get it back, put it on the thing, fold it up, and then I'm a more. Like that name declaration, judicial proclamation, is something that's supposed to be studied for, for some weeks before you even change the name on it. Much less put your, put your autograph on it. Because it's a study tool. Because it's really about self-improvement. If you look at everything that you touch that's paper as a study tool, and you look up everything, It'll help. It will definitely help in making, you know, everything that you exhibit perfect. Because it's not going to be coming from a place of panic. It's going to be coming from a place of understanding, which 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 would show that there's no need to panic. Because I get what, <laughs> I get what this is. You know they. You know what I mean? Pulling no game on me. You can try. But once you know, it's whole different. The whole different thing is going to happen once you know. And, and the point is knowing. Know thyself means know yourself. For real. Study, study, study. Then study self. When you think that you ain't got nothing else because I know it all. I studied all the books in the world. Do you study self yet? No. You ain't know nothing. You know zero. Hero. I was wondering how to get a copy of the book Moors and Masonry. 
that is right there, Moors and Masonry. For the Moors and Masonry book, Moorish Civil Letter dot net Moors and Masonry dot org and two one five three zero zero five four seven one. 215-300-5471 to get your Mars and Mason rebook. Make sure you pick that up. Make sure you support because that is one you need for your study, study, study. Trust that's one you need for your study, study, study. Um, brother Roots Child just sent in an email saying that he got his questions answered from last class so Islam to that um, this one here Just a reply. Uh, this is a um, message from MoorishDirectory.com by the Jonathan Bay. Greetings all active Moors. We here at MoorishDirectory.com do our best to ensure that Moors have available to them the proper tools necessary when navigating through their day-to-day -day affairs. For some time now, MoorishDirectory.com has made available to the Moorish community a very useful app that can be downloaded to their devices, phone, tablet, or laptop as a handy conventional means to stay in contact with other nationals as well as to have one-touch access to various consolidated educational links so that one may continue to study at will during their travels. To further our outreach, we are seeking the support of all active Moors, those of you who has downloaded the Moorish Directory app and has been able to experience the benefits of this app for themselves, we request that you submit a short video testimonial, maximum five minutes, to the following email address. My app testimony, M-Y-A-P-P-T-E-S-T-I-M-O-N-Y, my app testimony at moorishdirectory.com. Your, your video presentment may be utilized as part of the next More Talk episode archive, More Talk link listed below, as we continue to learn more truths of our nationality and birthrights. We also continue with the objective to showcase effective, affordable mechanisms such as the Moorish Directory app, so Moors, primarily newly awakened Moors, may take full advantage. We greatly appreciate your activity as your services will assist new Moors coming into our divine and national movement. Warm regards, Brother Jonathan Bay. All right, so Islam to MoorishDirectory.com. Those Moors stay working. Um... Peace, Kane, and Lan, honors to you all. I came across this video of Joe Rogan and thought it might be of interest. I'm not a Rogan fan. I do watch all Kane and Lan Moore's videos and stay in study mode. This video is 34 minutes, and when I watched it, I kept hearing Kudro eat the fish, spit out the bones. Joe's guest is Randall Carlson, PhD. You can Google him. Randall, R-A-N-D-A-L-L, -L, Carlson, Ph.D., and is discussing the Great Floods, Ice Age, Continents, Landmass changes in the 10,000, 60,000 years ago. I love getting more confirmation, Joe Rogan, with guests, Randall, Carlson, and this video is just one of the many examples of Noble Jwali saying, I'm going to make the European tell the truth. 
So Joe Rogan and the guest of the show was Randall Carlson, PhD. Give thanks for that. Um, you can YouTube this video. Kanasata Kanasatake K A N E H S A T A K E K A N E H S A T A K E 270 years of resistance. And Sister Selkett sent that Islam to all the Moors from Sister Selkett. Take that one in. Uh, we also want to plug um, Sis again with her uh, Strength in Unity Beads dot com. Um, the sister imports a lot of um, eccentric beads and makes necklaces and bracelets and the whole stuff. So um, you can contact them through the website strengthinunitybeads.com. The email is strengthinunitybeads at gmail.com. Strengthinunitybeads at gmail.com. And the phone number is 240 477 9537. 2404779537 Canon Land Moors from brother brother Darrell Certain Moors on their YouTube are shooting down a European man for wanting to learn more science these teachings is for the uplifting of fallen humanity. Why are these Moors not going after the European shrine who got the teachings and secrets unlocked? Islam can and keep teaching. Yeah, there's another one for them. How come you guys aren't going at the so-called Mason, the Mason European who came out and started talking about Nobu Juali and talking about that was the foundation and all that and people are not Negro, black, colored or whatever. How can you not go in at him? Why? How can you not go in at the highwaymen that killed Corin Gaines? You never mentioned one of their names. You keep mentioning Taj Tariq Bey all the time. Like he was there or something. How come you guys aren't going at the colonizer that killed that sister? That should tell all you weak-minded people who these people work for. They didn't utter one word to date. They didn't utter one word that those highwaymen were wrong. Murdering that sister in front of her child, traumatizing him for life. But they're not talking about that. They're not talking about she spoke law that certain Moors speak and that got her killed and then weak minds are going to go with that hope it's not your sister shot up next just for going with their BS hope it's not your brother or your family member that's not shot up next just because you're riding with these people who work for the people who are killing your people and their speech lets me know that. I don't need nothing to verify from them. I don't need no CIA card from them to know that they're agents and they're working for the other side. Just go check who their foundation is. Just go check what line they come from. Anyhow they mention reincarnated, anyhow they mention um, Supreme Grand Advisor Kirkman Bay Anyhow they even mention 
Imili il. Be weary. Because there's one prophet and one temple. The one temple is the Moorish nation. And you already know who the prophet is. Don't let these people pigeonhole you. Right? Don't don't get caught. Because I guarantee you, guarantee you, that in those three bodies, by the time you get to 2017, there's corruption in there. Guaranteed. And remember, you know, that's not a slide on more science temple. It's all about the individuals who were the custodians of our birthright and did nothing with it. Did nothing. Or gratify their lower self. Get get pumped up because they got some information more than somebody else because they've been in the adept chamber and you're not. So you're subordinate to them. But Anubi Jwali told you it's your sovereignty that they got that made them grand chic or whatever. So you're not gonna you're just gonna let them have your sovereignty for ransom? Again, these people coming out dissing a European who's talking on behalf of Moorish Science Temple and all that? Why? Because he's doing their job and they're mad that they got caught by a European. European caught them. Even though we've been talking whatever like that, but European got them now. Because Europeans putting out information that they should be putting out that they're not putting out. Now they look bad. So to save face, they're going to talk BS about this European who's doing their job. Right? And then they're going to bring up their little, their little, um, what Nobu Juali said, they're about the European, they're about the European. Let's see what Nobu Juali said about the European. Let's see all of the statements that he said about the European, you know, because, you know, they like to pick and choose the ones that they want to use and all that stuff. So let's, let's go through all of them, just so we can get a perspective, right? I mean, I'm not going to do no, you know, Dasha, no Drawley said don't amalgamate with the pale skin nations and all that stuff. Like, I'm not even going there. We'll just use the oral statements, right? We'll just use the oral statements about America and the Europeans. Before the European came here, the bananas were large and the grapes were four in hand. They took two men with hand sticks to carry one bunch of grapes. The Moors were living up and down the Mississippi River before the European man came here. The Europeans went to the Moroccan government and asked for permission to come over here to develop this land. They were given a 50-year mandate to do so. Then the Europeans went to an old sheik and asked him to give them some people to help them to develop this land. The sheik told them, take those moors because they are not going to do anything. All the black people that aren't moors, but they're slaves. Okay, so, so you're a slave, right? You're a slave to the European. And then the European got you because sheiks, sheiks told the European to take those Moors over there. Not take those black guys over there. Not take those people who came over on a slave ship over there. Take those Moors over there because they're not doing nothing. The European is going to pay our people off for the work that they did in slavery and pay off in compounded interest. One day the Europeans are going to lock the food up in the warehouses, 
put soldiers around them to guard them and you will not go anywhere he says to get something to eat you will go anywhere he says to get something to eat one day you will go to the store and there will be soldiers there with guns with bayonets on them and they will not let you enter they will order you to move on and then that was going on during the slavery stuff right and then these guys said you know they're gonna fight for the stuff in the 60s and then all the marching that they're doing is only soldiers are on with bayonets telling them keep moving nigger it's prophecy manifested proven that he was a prophet for real one day the European is gonna let you down you are going to have to put up a 90 day supply of food to last you until your brothers come to your rescue from the east right, 90 days so just have that there the Holy Prophet told the Moors children you are at home and the European is 3,000 miles from home and he is going to have to take some water one day you are going to smell the Europeans before you see them in boxcars going back to Europe the European will not be able to remove all the wealth from the land after he goes back to Europe mountains of gold will be revealed to the Moors when the Europeans go back to Europe the climate will go back to what it used to be I like good peas and beans. I am going to save 8% of the Europeans because they are good farmers. I am going to save 8% of the Europeans. What if Latif is in the 8%? What if these Europeans that are assisting the Moorish movement are the ones that are the 8%? And these individuals who call themselves Moorish Science Temple are speaking against these 8% Europeans that Nobujwali prophesied he's going to save. Doesn't that mean that they're violating the Prophet? And if they're violating the Prophet, doesn't that mean they work for the other side? Because they shouldn't really be violating on those supreme levels forget any other level they shouldn't be surprised like this man said he's going to save 8% of Europeans eight percent are going to be saved if the European be just they would have an Asiatic vice president and if they had an Asiatic president they would have a European vice president, right? Which was prophecy. Manifested again. I'm going to stop the European from thinking and start you, Moors, to thinking for your own good. So stop the European from thinking. And start Moors to think for their own good. Which, remember, because he's a prophet, majority of the things that he was telling to Moors were things that were to come, that are here now, that should have, you know, all the Moors in slap forehead. And really taking this to the hedges and the highways because that it's real. The things that he said really did manifest. He really proved his claim. His claim has been proved. But they don't want that. They're going to argue, make hour-long video or whatever like that about a good European. One day your biggest trouble won't be getting with European women, it will be fighting them off. Get a good European education and I can use you. The Holy Prophet while speaking would jump up in the air and laugh and say, Rome 2000 years ago, you got me, but I got you today. 
I'm going to leave the European here just long enough to teach you how to run a government. Watch the newspapers and listen to the radio. I'm going to make the European tell the truth. The only way you European can be saved this last time will be through the help of the Moors. The only way the European is going to be saved this last time is through the help of the Moors. Didn't, didn't this guy just lie on the prophet and say the prophet only came to Moors specifically? Didn't he just lie on YouTube? Just lie, bold, to the weak mind's face. And nobody even called him on his lie. That Noble Jwali came to Moors specifically. If Noble Jwali came to Moors specifically, then why would Noble Jwali say, the only way you Europeans can be saved which saved means that they're in adversity and he's coming to help them. This last time will be through the help of the Moors. Right? That's again, that's two violations of the Prophet. That nobody calling him on and stuff like that. You let them talk their BS. Right? You put it on the record that these people are working for the other side. Just just because they, they called my name in their video. That, that has nothing to do with that's nothing to do with me. What does it do with me? Oh, because Europeans saying stuff that he said he, I was a reference or whatever? Okay. So, European bigged up Kujo. And then you're going on a smear campaign against the European. But you're not going to put the European's name on the stuff. You're going to put my name but when you, your issue is with some European how come you didn't put his name on the stuff because that's their God they're no different than the Negro black guys how are they no different we can, we can call them Moorish racists these are Moorish racists around here KKK Moors right skinhead Moors Watch these skinhead racist Moors out here. It's going out lynching Europeans and stuff like that. Just because the European call them on the job that they're not doing. Right? Which is get this information out to the people. This is not some club have people hiding, carry their fez in a bag and all that stuff to the temple and then when they're leaving the temple, put their fez in a bag and then leave the temple so nobody knows that they're Moors because know that they're Moors then fakers. Children, when you get on top, treat the European nice. The European is our fellow man. I'm going to stop the Europeans from thinking. If two or three of them get together on something, they will go back and tear it up. If you want European Grand Sheiks, I can give them to you. I have got the Romans in the palm of my hand. One day the United States will not be able to do any business unless they do it through the Asiatic. I'm going to take, I'm going to make the European enforce my law. Isn't that what brother's doing? Brother Latif Bey? What's he doing? European. You know he's goddamn European. I'm still going to call him Bey. Because I know he's not about stealing no Moore's birthright and stupid stuff like that. He's for real doing what Moore should be doing. Now he's being more, more than Morisco World TV Moore's. Why? Because he's taking this information to the hedges and the highways. He's putting this information on the front burner as a European knowing the risk knowing the risk he got threatened already he got threatened already that he will not breathe if he keeps talking how he's talking but you know they realize that he's real he's not he's ipso jur subject they don't got no jurisdiction over him how do they get jurisdiction over him if he's more subject
He's not no U.S. BS that they're claiming. And he's not no sovereign citizen either. He's more subject. That's why he puts Fez on or whatever like that. So nobody can pretend like they don't know that he's a more subject. And he's under the jurisdiction of the Moors. Whose land this is. This is how he talks to them. They don't, they don't bother him anymore. And they realized that he was real. He wasn't one of these European China. They realized that he was really real. He was, he was Hakeem H. Bay, like Peter Lamborn Wilson, real. They were like, no boy with that one. Rick Smith. They found that they were really, really talking about galactic Mars. Like he's really went into meditation and went to other realms and spoke with stuff what they know in their area 51 stuff like that giving them reference points of stuff they got about about out there leave this guy alone let him do what he does don't bother that guy peter moon montauk project Giving up the goods about the 50-year mandate and, and all that stuff in his book. That's in the Library of Congress as well. European. Back in Noble Juali. Like 50 billion, 100 million thousand percent. Backing him hard. Harder than more science temple who's around today. That's been around for 100 years. European backing the prophet harder than them. European, pale face, cracker, troglodyte, whatever you want to call them. Talking some more science, more than Moors, who are claiming that they're repping Moors because they're in Moors Science Temple. It's been around since 19, uh, and we've been here, and we're the Moors, and Noble Juali came for us because he's our prophet. Get the hell out of here. You don't own Noble Juali fakers. You don't own the prophet. The prophet. Buddhists don't own Buddha. Which Buddhists are you going to find talking about they have claim on Buddha? Nobody else could study Buddhist teachings. You know how stupid that sound? That's why we tell people, guilty by association. Stay away from certain people. There are certain people that are guilty. <laughs> Think guilty by association. Guilty by association is ancestral too. Ancestral. So, the ancestors know who you, you're playing stupid stuff with. And then they'll have something for you. Don't worry. Don't worry. All right. Excerpt from Jonathan's Bay. Jonathan Bay's new book. A Moore's Guide to a Practical, More Hassle-Free Existence regarding the letter from George Washington to the Sultan of Morocco at the time. During your reading of the following letter, do take note of the fact that is very well known historical document is from the United States own archives of American letters, as well as how this well-known letter puts forth three extremely noteworthy truths which historians have conveniently cho chosen to exclude from the reconstructed history we were taught in grade school. One, that there was in fact a long established previous United States governmental administration which existed prior to George Washington's appointment to office. George Washington was the ninth president, not the first. Two, that George Washington does, does in this letter openly admit that the land he and his countrymen were being afforded the privilege of benefiting from is a usufruct from as a usufruct was and still is lawfully the dominion of the Moorish Empire. And lastly, how manipulative sociology has, has always been an extremely consistent common practice in American history, i.e. 
George Washington's lulling Sultan Muhammad ibn Abdullah into a false sense of security was with his affable letter of amicable cordiality simply as disingenuous pretext to a domestic terrorist attack by foreign occupiers. To obtain your copy of the book, please visit MoorishDirectory.com. Right, so Brother Jonathan Bay's book coming out. A Moor's Guide to a Practical, More Hassle-Free Existence. That, that's, that's probably going to be a good one. Um, now what we'll do to close out, I want to give honors to the good, the good brother who inspired, who inspired me to start writing. The good brother who inspired me to start writing, Brother Heru Ranasi L. Okay. Alhambra Publishing. And this is one of his books, Reflections of a Moorish Traveler. Here I quote two authorities on the Egyptian temple, the first C.H. Veil on Ancient Mysteries, page 159, who says, The Egyptian temples were surrounded with pillars recording the number of constellations and the signs of the zodiac or the cycles of the planets. And each temple was supposed to be a microcosm or a symbol of the temple of the universe or of the starry vault called Temple. The next authority is Max Muller, who, is, who in his Egyptian mythology, page 187 to 193, has described Egyptian temples as follows. Egyptian temples were made of stone, the outer courts of mud bricks. Wide roads led to the temples for the convenience of processions, while the immediate entrance was lined with statues consisting of phinxes and other animals. The front wall formed two high tower-like buildings called pylons, before which stood two granite obelisks. Immediately behind the pylons came out a large court where the congregation assembled and watched the sacrifices. Immediately next to the hall of the congregation came the hall of priests, and immediately following the hall of priests came the final chamber called Aditum i.e. the Holy of Holies, which we entered only by the highly priests. This was the place of the shrine and the abode of God. Each temple was a reproduction of the world. The ceilings were painted to represent the sky and the stars, while the floor was green and blue like the meadows. Ceremonial cleanliness was at all times imperative, and the people before entering the temple must carefully purify themselves in a nearby stream. In later times, this became a ceremony of sprinkling with holy water before entrance into the temple. Stolen Legacy, George G.M. James, page 33. Reflect. After reading the previous section on Moorish and Egyptian temples, ask yourself this. Why did Prophet Nobujuali name his organization the Moorish Science Temple of America? Right? So reflections of a Moorish traveler. Brother Heru Ranasi L, Grand Governor out in ATL. We have um, don't forget tonight, Block Talk Radio. 
MHHS, eyes wide open. Call in number 425 569 5201. 425 569 5201. 347 945 5899. 347 945 5899. Islam to all the Moors. Peace and love. Oh, yeah, and just to put that quote out there every, every European is not your enemy, and every Moor is not your friend. So don't let these people out here with fezzes and stuff fool you into thinking that they're down with Noble Drew Ali when they're dissing people who's teaching about Noble Drew Ali. And not only teaching about Noble Drew Ali, but teaching from the correct perspective. Because a lot of people are weak minds because of their incorrect perspective of what it means to be more. They think some guy stand at a podium make them a more. He ain't making you no more. Don't get don't get fooled. Right? And remember, every time you hear somebody talk negative about RV Bay publications, Taj Tariq Bay, Grand Sheik Nature L Bay, Canaan Land Moors, MoorishDirectory.com, Brother Abdullah Bay. Hear them talk crazy about anybody. Know that they work for the other side. Know that. Because half these people didn't think that you would find out about 501c3 and all that stuff and realize that they work for the people who the people who they're not supposed to amalgamate with. <laughs> That's who they're registered with. They talk about people who they're amalgamated and stuff like that. But these people fool you. There's birthrights. There's not some club. Right? Even as a religious corporation, it's not a club. No club. There's not clubbing going on right here. Right? It is not clubbing. Alright? So think um we'll just close out with um don't forget willofallah.com pick up your wisdom of the womb album pick up your wisdom of the womb album mm -hmm. islam to all the moors peace and love give thanks for your attendance give thanks for your energy and you already know we're going to be doing the do um, and we might have another class this week um, before Sunday because um, Brother Rennie got liberated. He's home now. Um, and, you know, Brother had a situation, you know, and bit the bullet. I mean, and time's done. He's home now. So, um, you got to build with him on some stuff with regard to these conditions that these brothers are facing in there and how desperately needed it is um, that this um, knowledge that we have with regard to self-improvement gets in there, right? Because they're not dealing with these brothers right up in these institutions and they need something as an outlet for them. And as we know, the only saving power is what the Moors have. Mm -hmm. That's it. And trust me, the chaplains and all that are calling us. So wherever you're at, if there's a jail or prison there, reach out to the chaplain about getting in there with the right information relative to these individuals bettering themselves. Five on the left, two on the right. A lot of Father of the Universe, Father of Love, Truth, Peace, Freedom, and Justice. Allah is my protector, my guide, and my salvation by night and by day to his holy prophet, Noble Juali, Islam. And we'll just close out with some wow. Don't ask me if it's a just war. That's not up to us. To 
us is just war. Military mind in the military time. Military mind in the military time. Military mind in the military time. I'm crossing enemy lines. War morals entangle. Once they show me the ropes, I show you warrior strangle. Separate bodies, six degree angles. High caliber grip when he rambles. From his tip, bionic clip equipped with the handles. Could have careers crippled in shambles. Vando, Michael Jordan fans know nobody fucking with my ammo. Nightmare to the son of Samuel. Spit with the camels, my energy's camel. Anger I channel, use it like a radical Tamil. Got tried as a terrorist, then my hammer spat at your panel. Weapons are formed, had to dismantle, handle it manual. Left it to God, I'm on the path to a man. Such a thrill, a fill of a life giver I catch a body, I deliver You catch a body, you a killer So I'm not your typical digger Every time I rhyme, I pull a trigger I'm a broken toolie in a ghetto movie Might explode if you let them use me Usually cool, i.e. to identify me You should probably be thinking highly Trying to find wisdom where I be While I be dodging, listening, missing the missiles Whistle by me Wonder what they pay to try to buy me Kingfisher play to ban me Got me thinking all I need is my family Sometimes I think all I need is a Grammy To cure the Alzheimer's, to kill my granny And anyone who understand me Even the ones that try to ban me We all kids if the world is candy Watch what you hand me, I won't let you hang me I'm never going back to that place again On a new path, not a pace of sin You should play it back, you should take it in I tied up one of my homies' legs One of my homies' arms Hope to die before losing my one and my only mom Terror in my eyes, you worried about Saddam I watch the temperature rise between niggas who get it on When you hear the song, the message has no discretion Pull up in the tank so the people know my aggression Stole Hannibal's weapon Try to test him when class is in session He'll dissect the lesson Leave your body parts in the west end Military mind in the military time Things we learn as we live Like the experience, wisdom to give Attention to that self that's in Time has been the main form of this verse's measurement It's evident based on life's compliment That we were percent Still we're meant to do more Whispers of voice at the core Which turns into a roar Whenever we rhyme on the floor Memories before now Have me reflecting how Prophesizing on monopolizing Like they do the cow Correction Since they refer to deal with deception In all direction It's for self-inspection Into perfection No perplexing Just speaking Respecting those that's teaching Reflections that are reaching to that point where they breaching The concept of borderlines Intertwining out of angel Either in a demon spa My cons Always ready to build Feeling the battle drills Knowing that we will Do what's necessary to heal The ill to the mind of a soldier Growing in the north colder So consequently as we've gotten older Gotten bolder Rhyme solo when I hear Trigger that pineal spirit Hear it inform it And spit it out a conduit No doubt we about Profitable gain Coochie trigger leak a change Similar you're not the same As those who just seek to campaign Emphasizing time to strain Focusing on loss and pain Tearing like the Rain, we switch up add on as we maintain Military mind in the military time Military mind in the military time Military mind in the military time Oh gosh Wisdom of the womb will of Allah.com and um if anybody replied to that email or whatever from that fake Amari, <laughs> I would suggest that you change your password ASAP. <laughs> All right. And keep in mind, Amari never, ever, 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 ever sends an email talking about hi. <laughs>